hi everyone you're welcome to part two of think before you speak if this is your first time of coming to my channel i want to say a very big welcome to you this is our pella Ekbella upl teaching and training academy to my returning subscribers god bless you thank you so much and to those that will subscribe today i love you welcome to the community now if you remember we stopped at promote empathy and understanding that was where we stopped in our part one and we're going to continue the part two with facilitate effective problem solving oh yes engage in thoughtful communication during conflicts this is where a lot of people miss it they have no power or they have no will or they have no control or they can't engage in thoughtful communication during conflict what do they do they get angry they speak roughly they become abusive they become really really like a dragon coming out of the cage and they say no no listen communication being angry sometimes is okay but how you handle it tells a lot okay so facilitate effective problem solving this will help you and it will change a lot of things for you the next point is approach challenges with a calm and rational mindset if someone drops a comment or someone tells you something or someone touches you in a way with their words that you don't like before you flare up sit down turn that same table around check it if this thing was said by me how will i react you can even ask people their opinion before you speak but if you know you don't have that time then say nothing okay number six build credibility and professionalism you see this this is absolutely the truth build credibility and professionalism and it will take you very very far be thoughtful in your speech enhances your credibility this is absolutely the truth project a professionalized image and increase your leadership potential if you're someone that you have things to do with people maybe your trainees your mentees your students your colleagues even in your home your partner make sure you learn how to project a professional image and increase your leadership potential as a husband as a wife as a leader even as a staff as a trainee as a mentee as a student everyone should learn this it will take you to the highest height you need okay number seven number seven says improve self-awareness and personal growth improve your self-awareness if you're someone that you notice that you always get angry your emotions you know jumps here and there please work on it don't tell yourself this is how i am no it is a no no work on it you can okay i've heard people use words like oh i didn't mean to say it that way but i said it anyway no you can change it all right so work on it now thinking before you speak or thinking before speaking encourages self-reflection mm -hmm. absolutely the truth i will give us another story there was something someone did to me and when i saw the message the person sent, now discovered what he did he said going around calling people to beg me i called him and i told him i said look i never even read that message because when i saw just the beginning i knew it was trouble for you i knew if i read that message you will never ever have an opportunity to come close to me but i didn't read it because i didn't want that the person told me please can you delete the message please don't ever read it i said no i have deleted it already in my heart and i will never go and open it the person said please because after i finished writing it i was like oh my god what did i do 
How could people push me to do this? And the person said, please forgive me. So make sure you have self-reflection before you type that message, before you drop that voice note, before you send that message. Okay? And before you open your mouth to speak, especially when you're angry. Remember, think before you speak. Now, become more aware of your communication patterns and basis. Oh, yes. Become more aware of your communication patterns. Become more aware of it. Because if you do, it will help you in the long run. The last but not the least, cultivate respectful dialogue. Oh my goodness. This is absolutely the best. Cultivate it in your home. Cultivate it in your office. Cultivate it with your friends. Cultivate it with your students, your mentees. Cultivate it with your customers cultivate it okay thoughtful speech fosters open and respectful conversations now the last listening actively consider different perspectives and respond thoughtfully and this will help you in your life and change you from gathering enemies to having friends that thinking before you speak can really do good to you than giving you a lot of trouble and bringing harm to your life okay so stop making enemies start making friends think before you speak i hope you learned from these eight points i have given you concerning thinking before you speak if you missed part one get that part one go through it and then come back and watch part two but if you have watched part one you have made the right choice. So thank you guys. Have a lovely day and see you in my next video. Bye for now.